What happens if 1,000 people confess anonymously to you? Well, we're about to find out. I have set up a way in which people can tell me things that they have done wrong recently or in their childhoods, and I will have no idea who they are. So we cannot get them arrested and off of the streets. You should subscribe, by the way. Or Pinely is about to overtake me on YouTube, and I don't like that. So as long as we are one subscriber above him, we're good. This is confession number one, boys. You're f lying. Oh, no. <laughs> These anonymous conf confessions are going to be so hard to read. <laughs> okay, I'm calling cap on this. But what do hamsters taste like? Similar to human, but slightly more gamey. Are hamsters edible? Of course they're edible. Anything with a pulse is edible. I I, I made the chimps. You're joking. You made the one that's just my face. Why? Okay, mother... If you are watching this, if you are watching this, I swear to... F dude, if you make the James Marion filters, why do you make them so... F Ugly, dude. There is, There are good ways to make me look. I know, it may seem impossible, but there are. I gave my brother epilepsy. L having a family member with epilepsy, I don't know if that's how epilepsy works. I don't think epilepsy is like a, a thing you can just get. You can realize that you have epilepsy, but you can't be given epilepsy. <laughs> I miss James this morning. Grow up. Do you want to know something really cringe? I buckled, okay? I saw I saw the purgatory event was happening on the QSMP. I, sh I showed Quackity a message. I was like, future reference, I'm down. No pressure. Don't expect a reply. Just putting it out there that I'm down. Boys, when I say I got so f scared. <laughs> But like, it's okay. You know, I'm not, I'm not hurt. Just throwing it out there. I'd be super down to be involved in any QSMP stuff in the future. No pressure and no expectation, Paul. Just throw my name in. <laughs> Hope you've been very well. The instant regret. I, I sent the message and was like, I hate that I did that. I lost my virginity to your album. I hate this. Which song? This is not true. That would, you, why? I, I, and also, I, you know what? I'm not going to say it. All right. And I don't know why this is just reminding me of my dad. Okay. That's a, a mental thing to say. I'm, I don't drink alcohol, right? My dad messages me on New Year's multiple times being like, yo, James, if you want, you can, you can have a little bit of champagne <laughs> for New Year's, James. You can have a little bit. Of, you can treat yourself. Just a thimble, just a little glass of champagne. I'm like, dad, <laughs> dad, I don't drink. I, I don't drink that. Well, hey, James, it's just a thimble. Like, what's the worst that could happen? I have a dad. Oh, sorry. That's not entirely relatable for the James Barrett viewer. So I have a father figure. Um, not a massive, not a massive thing. It's, you know, it's it's one of the things of all time. And I, I don't think it's too important. Oh my god. I mean, were they good? Like, aesthetically? Because I think that would change things. You know, if you sent, like, a like a bad nude to a family member, like, one that didn't look, then that would be, you know, that would be awkward, embarrassing, and... <laughs> I cheesed on my now ex while drunk, and it's the biggest regret of my life. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Sorry, that's... <laughs> That's mean. No, it isn't. You cheated. Dude, it, like, the, being drunk is no excuse. It's it's like when you're dreaming, right? If you cheat on people in your dreams, I, I think that is a bad sign. Being drunk on a one-off occasion doesn't mean that you just forget about your partner in that sense. You know? My father left. My father, right? <laughs> no, it's kind of... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry your dad left you. <laughs> I smoked weed at the age of 10. No way. I remember people in my school smoking weed when we were 14. And I thought that shit was so scary. I lost my virginity to one of your videos. I highly regret losing it to the person, but I don't regret how it happened. Wait, well, okay. That's so, <laughs> that's odd though. Why, why do you have to specify that you're like, I am fine that it ha I'm kind of cool with the fact that it happened to one of your videos. No, <laughs> just regret it. You're, you're allowed. Just regret it. Entirely. I have a David Tennant cardboard cutout and his autograph. I used to kiss the autograph before I went to bed. This is a horrible, this is horrible. I did MDMA on New Year's Eve, spent all my mates' money, and honestly, it was brilliant. No, dude. <laughs> Stop, stop promoting drug usage to my followers. It's great. No, I'm joking, it was a joke. I asked my friends to tie me up and sat there for hours with rope around my wrists and ankles. Holy shit, just, you know, I don't, how do I say this? Go outside, go outside and, you know, speak to people, professionals and work on yourself. Because like, if you if you have a partner and you, and you ask them to tie you up, you know, your, your, your base. And I get it. But if you're just asking your friends to do it, then uh, <laughs> had a sleepover with a friend, played VR chat, and then later had e-sex with a newfound friend over VC. Guys, again, I, I just think this is the kind of stuff that only happens to James Marriott viewers. We, we, we need to be better than this. All right, dude, I bit my ex's toe. How does this happen accidentally? It doesn't, do, does it? You don't just accidentally, oh, <laughs> you know, oh, your foot's in my mouth. Oh, <laughs> I love, you know, oh, oh, it tastes so good. <laughs> you know, like that's it's not, not, not an accident. I'm obsessed with this guy to the point every time he falls in love, I make the people disappear from his life because I want him to be with me. You know, or 
James Barrett viewer. You could just tell them. You could just go, I like you. Is it, why, why is this the easier option? For the longest while I would date a bunch of people and constantly bring up the topic of intercourse just so nobody would notice I'm Arrow Ace because I thought it was like a bad omen. It's not a bad omen, but I do, I do like the idea of being like, just in a group of your friends and be like, so guys, <laughs> sex, <laughs> love it. <laughs> <laughs> this one comes in from Charlie Puth. I made out with my ex while drunk at my 18th birthday party. We don't talk anymore. I have spent over 300 pounds on Yaoi Manga. What the f is Yaoi Manga? Boys love. <laughs> oh, why have I searched that, dude? <laughs> Yeah, that's a confessional, right, dude? I lied to almost every actor I met after theater, theater musical events to let them think they're special so that they have a great day and motivation. That's kind of sweet. That's a sweet confession. I'm gonna start doing that to people. I like to get pictures of your bad hairline and post them. Guys, you're meant to be on my fucking team, dude. My hair looks a lot better these days, so I don't mind as much. You're horrible to me. I was laughing at my dad when he fell down the stairs. Thought he was laughing too, but he was crying and had broken his leg. I would have just been over that boy like, <laughs> send a fucking postcard. Send a Postcard, you twat! Silly twat falling down the stairs, send a postcard! This one comes in from a river in Egypt. I arranged a surprise birthday party for my brother, but told all the guests it was a coming out party. He's in from denial. I lied about doing charity work to get with a girl, but then I did actually start doing charity work. This is one of those situations in which, at first, it's bad, but because it leads to positive things, I think it's okay. <laughs> Did pink MDMA and sneezed out pink powder the next morning all over my 10 year old sister. What? You bastard. I know this is true. I stole a guitar pick from the Glasgow show. It's yellow. That's because I use 0.73s, right? Dunlop 0.73s. Stop. Stop stealing my guitar picks. I will throw a guitar pick out to the crowd once a show. Mother stop stealing it stop stealing these because we play shows in cities where they don't have guitar shops readily available and i have one plectrum to last a show dude i punched my uncle on christmas he called me a slur valid punch i flirted with a priest and he flirted back lamau this is uh this is from a 10 marriott uh 10 marriott a 10 year old james marriott viewer clearly i'm not a particularly a big fan of lovejoy's music i just love the members and that's why i go to their concerts a lot contrary to popular belief i don't think this is a terrible thing for example like i know for a fact there's definitely people People that come to my shows just to support me and it's kind of up to me to win over that person more i don't think it is a huge problem i go to gigs for for bands i don't like or for artists i don't necessarily like because i have friends that want to go and so i go with them so i don't think this is a terrible thing it's also like you're supporting them still was looking after my one-year-old nephew and a gate fell on him oh yes because that happens. Oh, I was looking, I was looking after my one-year-old nephew and he was hit in the face with a cup. <laughs> oh, I squirted. I mean, I, you should get anti-aging cream for your mum before I get... <laughs> okay, I don't understand why this is relevant. I can quote most of yours and Will's videos. I'm autistic. I, I don't... I, I can, what can I quote a lot of? I met you, I was really awkward and I've been suffering with the memory. Guys, I'll be honest. I'm terrible at social interaction. I, I, I kind of keep to my, myself a lot these days. I went to a New Year's Eve party and I kind of just stuck around with my sober friends. I'm being honest. If you expect me to remember you, it, I, I suck so much at remembering social interactions, especially when I'm meeting a lot of people all at once because I get kind of just, I kind of just disassociate and just exist. Um... To the point where I try and be polite with people, but I really suck at remembering faces, names. If I ever tell you I remember you, unprompted, I remember you. Don't worry about feeling awkward about meeting me. Because as far as I'm, I can probably count on one hand the amount of times someone has actually made me feel uncomfortable. And I would struggle to even remember them now. So even if you're one of those people and you feel bad about it, don't feel bad about it. The act of you feeling bad about it is enough. I know that you are a cool person. I used to hope that e-boys would come back, but I finally accepted that they simply are not. I, I think I don't want to completely cancel out the idea of at least me and Will doing something podcasty in the future, but I, I don't think that type of content really suits me. I don't think being recorded in a, gr in a group situation and doing a YouTube video in that sense really suits me. I like hanging out with my friends and making content with my friends. But I don't think the e-boys stuff really, really suited me. I, I kind of felt like I was a bit of glue to that system. I love podcasting though. And I, I think I can, I can genuinely see that at some point being in my future. The worst thing I did last year was book tickets to a Jimbo gig. Be honest with me. Be honest. Has anyone in chat 
Regretted a James Marriott gig. No. You would die for a James Marriott concert? People have died at a James Marriott concert. I have a crush on Chuya Nakahara. Who is that? And I'm just gonna say I get it or I don't get it. Guys, it is an anime character. What do I expect? Some of you people like FNAF characters. At least they're humanoid. <laughs> I confidently called Jono Matt to his face. Okay, now the bit is please, please just call Jono any name but Jono. Can you start calling him Junk? Junk is fine. I didn't buy your merch. This is so embarrassing, honestly. Guys, I've got some cool f merch for the for the for the tour. Really excited. We're doing um a hand designed thing from the band. Like the last, the last merch. And I think it's the best one. So I'm really, I'm really excited. I referred to you as Pookie when I was talking to my f I'm not a f Pookie! They found a tumor in my brain, lol. That's not a I hope you're okay. Mm. Nice. Thanks.